today we are going to conduct a lecture uh, related to the uh, fund elements of a program and if we want to write down a program in cpp so what are the elements needed for that so in this lecture we want to consider what the variables are what the literals are and what are the structure of a basic program what the keywords are and how can we um, type the program where we can type the program how can we compile the program and what are the different strategies for operators how can we write down the expressions uh, these things will be covered in this in this lecture the very important thing in in a language is a character set when you started uh, learning english language so initially you learn alphabets because you cannot learn any language without character sets so in 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 english language we use a b c d up to z small letter a b c d up to z similarly if you started learning urdu language so you learn alif ba pe and aakhir tak badi a tak aapne sare letters learn kiye so character set is a very important element for any language so if we want to write down a program in c or c++ so there is a character set available we can use the characters into this character set for the purpose of writing program so upper case alphabets are available a to z we can use that lower case alphabet a to z are available digit 0 to 9 are available some restricted special symbols are allowed that symbols are what you should be familiar for the name of that symbol this is tiled this is uh, apostrophe exclamation at the rate brackets these brackets are available colon semicolon inverted commas or quotation marks single quotation marks double quotation marks these these special characters are allowed except these characters we cannot use other characters found into the onto the keyboard or in a language कैरेक्टर सेट तो जो आपका उसका सेट होता है जो एस की कोर्ट्स का तो दीज कैरेक्टर सेट्स अ वेरी ह्यूज लिस्ट ऑफ कैरेक्टर सेट्स आर अवेलेबल इन द एस की टेबल तो दीज कैरेक्टर सेट्स आर फ्रॉम द एस की टेबल बट नॉट ऑल द एस की एस की कैरेक्टर्स आर इंक्लूडेड हेयर तो दिस इज द सेट ओनली दैट कैरेक्टर्स वी कैन यूज इन राइटिंग प्रोग्राम token tokens or the words these characters are combined to make the words suppose uh, b a s i t if i use these letters to a name basit will be created so this is called token or a word so the smallest unit in a program or a statement is a token because words are used to write down the sentences so characters are used to form the words and the words are used to form the sentences so the sentence is called a statement a complete sentence is called a statement like uh, bring a glass of water for me this is one complete sentence so the complete sentence in a program is called statement so one complete sentence is called statement and a statement comprised on words so this is one word this is another word and this is the sec third word and so on so the words are used to make statement 
and some of the words are called keywords or reserve words some of the words are called keywords as you know some of the words in english language are called verb some of the word are called noun so in in a programming language some words are reserved word and other words are called user defined words so there are the two major categories of the word user defined words reserved words and the user defined words so in, suppose this is uh, bring glass me these are the reserved words like in a english dictionary so those words which are available into the english dictionary we can call as as a reserved word they have a specialized meaning but if you are if you are using some special words like uh, bring a glass of water for ahmed so ahmed will not found into the dictionary because it is a noun and it is a common noun or it may be a noun of a person it may be a noun of an object so these words are called user defined words so what are the situations or what are the places where the user defined words are needed suppose you want to create you save a file file and the name of the file you have to choose suppose the name of the file as i i gave you in the previous example table dot cpp the so table is the file name so this file name is written by me this file name is uh, used by me so this is called table is a user defined words so some words are user defined words some words are um, reserved words so we have to be very clear about that a complete list of reserved word is available into the c++ uh, literature so it's make the compiler understand what is written in a program the words are very important thing i am just concluding this slide uh, characters are combined to make the words words can be user defined words word can be the mm, reserved words words are combined to make sentences a complete sentence in a c program is called a statement these are the some word like main is a reserved word printf is a reserved word and here the name is also a reserved word token are broadly classified as identifiers identifiers are called variables identifiers are the variables keywords premain and printf these are the keywords constant if i am using the word like uh, variable and the name is ahmed as an example i gave you so ahmed is constant yeah 95 is constant now string string are those words which are in the double quotations so strings are nothing is a just sequence of characters for example message the so message is written into the double quotes we call this as a string and other things are what operators operators are what suppose i am writing x is equal to y plus 3 here x is a variable or a keyword sorry is not a keyword is my user defined word x is a variable y is also a variable 3 is a constant and this complete line is called sentence which is a called statement and this statement is called assignment statement because there are several types of statements this is called assignment operator or a statement what is assignment statement assignment statement assign the value of right hand side to the variable on the left hand side then we have some special characters special characters like uh, dollar sign underscore comma hyphen plus minus so these are the uh, special characters uh, here we are going to define the identifier 
I things are identified by some word which are known as identifier. Suppose I have a file, and I want to give the name of this file, so I have to use a identifier. Suppose I have uh, to create a variable, and I need to write down the name of this variable, so this name is uh, identifier. So identifier is a thing that can identify an object, right? So identifier is nothing, is a word which we can use to identify any object. Object is what? A, a file is an object, a variable is an object, a list of a program is an object, and so on. So these are the objects, and we want to assign the name to these objects. That names are called identifier. So identifier are the fundamental building blocks of a program. used to give the names to the variables the function the constant and the user defined words defined data okay so identify all the all these things are identified variable is identifier the name of the function is also an identifier the name of a constant is an identifier and the name of the variable is also an identifier they are use they are user defined names and consist of the sequence of letters and digit so it is nothing is a sequence of characters this sequence is used to define the object rules for naming an identifier an identifier name is any combination of 1 to 31 alphabets digits or underscore only these three things are aligned suppose i want to create a, a program and i want to give the name of the program as uh calculator 1 so i can use the name calculator 1 because uh, alphabets are allowed as well as digits are allowed alphabets and digits are allowed and as well as i can use underscore underscore is what i can use the name as uh, file 1 file underscore 1 so this is allowed and i can use the another name of the file as file 2 the file underscore 2 so this is allowed spaces are not allowed within the identifier i cannot use the spaces uh, keywords are not allowed to be used in the identifier keywords we cannot use the keywords like as i told you the main is a keyword so i cannot use word main for identify as an identifier keywords cannot be used so, so these are the rules that must be um, govern if you want to identify uh, some object so identification purpose you have to make identifiers so these are the valid identifiers tool spanner tool spanner these are the both are both are correct but both identifiers are not same so these are the two distinct identifier because the c language is a uh, is a case sensitive language and in c language if you are writing a identifier by capital letter so it will be assumed as a different identifier if you are defining as a um, small letters the so small letter ahmed and ahmed are the two different words or file or file or file these three identifier are assumed to be different in in c language or in c++ language both are identifier formula 1 suppose formula 1 car is is created by some student the formula 1 is the name of the car engine 1 if the engine is defined wrong identifier so these are the valid identifier these are the wrong identifier one underscore engine what the error is there we cannot start by digit because according to the rule we must have to start by an a, 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 a character first character 
is uh, alphabet. First character in an identifier must be an alphabet or underscore. We can start by underscore. So this is not started by letter, so we can call it as uh, invalid identifier. Break is an invalid identifier. Car roof is a invalid identifier. Why the break is an invalid identifier? Because break is a reserve word. Reserve words. The reserve word cannot be used as a identifier. Main is a reserve word. I cannot use the word main as an identifier. Car roof is an invalid identifier. Reason is what? Reason it is started by special character. The special, we cannot start the special character to anywhere in the identifier. So identifier are very important thing. User has to create some identifier. These identifier has specified rules. These are the rules or you must have to follow these rules if you are going to uh, make some identifiers. Keywords. Keywords or we can call it as reserve words. Reserve words. As in the dictionary, English or Urdu dictionary, the word, some words has reserved meaning. Suppose if you are using a word eat, eat is a, is a reserve word. It's used for um, taking food. If you use this word in any sentence, everyone can understand the, what is the meaning of the word eat. So we can call it as, as a reserve word of the English language. If I am defining a name of username, suppose I want to give a name to, uh, to, a, to, a, to, a, to a boy. So if we want to give name to the boy, so we can, we can, we cannot use the word eat to, to a boy. So the name of the boy may be Ali, the name of the boy may be Sara, oh, sorry, uh, Sarmad, but reserve words cannot be used as a name of boy or a name of girl. So that is why we can, we can say that user defined words are the user has to create, but reserve words cannot be used as a, as a user defined words. So cannot use these keywords as variable. Each keyword is meant to perform a specific function. Uh, eat has a special meaning. Go has a special meaning. Transfer has a special meaning. In English, in, in English language, these words has specialized meaning. So here is same as in a C language, we have uh, We have a um, special words. These special words cannot be used as a reserve words. All keywords are written in key, in lower language, lower case only. Reserve words are always in a smaller letters, but user words can be small letter letter or can be the upper case letters. And only thirty two keywords in there are uh, thirty two keywords in C language, but it is extended in C plus plus. It has a, a higher and a more elements in that list. If we are uh, observing the list of CPP uh, as a list of uh, uh, reserve words. These are the uh, reserve words. Auto, double, int, struct, switch, long, else, break. So these are the list of reserve words in a C language. But in a CPP, we have a extended list. Some further keywords are included in that list. But basic keywords are these. You cannot use these words, any of these words for uh, your file name, as your variable name, as your program name, or as your any object name. 
avoid to use these words for your purposes because these words compiler knows these words and performs some actions if these words occur into your program suppose when a word go to is used in a program to the compiler transfer the control to the specified line to go to cannot be used in my name go to if i want to use go to as a uh, as a reserve word so it has a specific action that specific action will be performed <coughs> if i use this word so you should remember this list because these are the tools for making the program we have to make the program by using these reserve words <coughs> here are some data types data types is very important if you want to use the data then data type uh, what type of data is that whether the data is a quantitative data or a qualitative data so we should have to be very familiar with the data type in a language so how much space is needed for a uh, uh, storing a variable values and type of value variable can be the alphabetic variable can be alpha numeric variable or it can be a plain numeric variable so this is called type of the variable classification of data type in c data type broadly classified as basic data type derived data type user defined data type there are the three classes of the data type basic data type is a very fundamental data type and basic data type int integer whole numbers characters alphabets float uh, float are basically the numbers which may be in fractions or double is the long float so the float and the double is what float may be the continuous data double is a continuous data of high precision so a smaller number can be accommodated in float but we have a larger number if we have so we can use the double characters are what characters are alphabets if you have to write down the name of a person as i told you siam s a i m so siam is what siam is a character variable character literal it is not a variable it is a character literal this is the type character i can use if i want to store the siam into a variable integers are whole number this is whole number and these two are continuous data continuous data and float is smaller like 1 2 3.56 and double is larger suppose 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 0.5 so this is double this is float integer a whole number i can use the term discrete data for it <clears throat> so this is discrete data this is continuous data and this is non numbers i can use non numbers for it which are not the number like the name of a person siam the name of a house like uh, basit's house the name of a place suppose i write down the name of a place like karachi so these are the words i can use for as a character data <coughs> extended so these are the basic types these are the extended type extended type con con contains pointers special data type functions and array 
So I will cover the extended data type or derived data type later on. I am not going to explain the, each of these three derived data types here. And some user defined data type contains structure, union and enumeration. So this is called user defined data types. So data types, uh, the data that you want to use into your program, we have to define the data type for it. These three data types we can have uh, basic data type, derived data type, user defined data type. So these three are the basic data types which we can use for the purpose of making program. Uh, as I defined the data type on the previous slide, uh, basic data type have these limits. Character. Character is alphabet and it may contains one byte. Minimum range of character is minus 128 to plus 127. So you are thinking that why character has minus 128 to plus 128. The reason is the characters in the background of every character we have a code. So actually this is the code value, ASCII code. These codes are called ASCII codes. A S C I I. So we have ASCII codes, every character in the code list has a specific code. So minus 128 to plus 127, this is the limit we can use for character. Unsigned character are positive characters. So these 127 will be double and the limit will be from 0 to 255. Then integer, unsigned integer, double range we have. 32,768 to 32,767. As small as this number and as large as this number, we can use this. And in our older version, it contains two bytes. Now in a new versions, it contains four bytes. Now short integer, two bytes. And it can contains from minus 32,768 to plus 32,700. So these are the limits. You should be familiar with these limits. There is no need to learn and remember all of these numbers, but you have a perception that as small as this data and as large as this data, we can accommodate into the long integer. The short integer, integer, unsigned integer, short integer, long integers. So these are the different variations in integers. Short integers contain smaller whole numbers and long integer can contain the longer integers. And unsigned long integer can contain a very long number in a positive side. Similarly, the float, the double, and the long double. The long double can contain the number uh, from 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 4, 9, 3, 2, up to 1.1 e raised to the power. e is basically 10 raised to the power, 4, 9, 3, 2, with the 20 digit precision. 20 digit precision means the number having the 20 places can be accommodated into this type of variable. So this is the complete list of uh, different data types uh, available in the language. Constant. Constants are classified into two categories. String constants or we have uh, numeric constants. So constants, uh, the entity which do not change throughout the program. All of you are familiar with the definition of constant, constant and variable. These are the two important things. Variable are those things which we can change, constant are those things which will not change. Suppose x is a variable. This variable x, if I store 5 in this variable x, the 5 is constant, x is variable, and equal to is the assignment. Assign. Assignment means what? 5 will be stored into the variable x. I'm just repeating this, this statement again. This statement is called assignment statement. In this assignment statement, x is what? x is a variable and 5 is what? 5 is a constant and it is an integer constant. If I am writing y is equal to 
3.2 or we can call it as a gpa is equal to 3.2 so is a statement in this statement gpa is a variable 3.2 is constant and equal to is a operator and semicolon is a statement terminator and 3.2 will be assigned to the variable gpa so in compile in when we run this line into the compiler in memory a variable gpa will be created and the number 3.2 is stored into the memory and here a variable y is created into the memory the name of the variable is y and 3.2 is a integer there is a floating number that is stored into this variable now sometimes we have character constant like um, student name st underscore name so s t name is a variable student name and i want to store suppose fatima the name of fatima into this variable so how how i will write down this statement into the language so i will write down as s t underscore name is equal to f a t i m a and same column so the the word fatima will be used into the variable st name so fatima is a character constant fatima is a character constant is equal to is a assignment operator st name is a variable instead of using fatima as a, a character constant i can use string constant string and uh, character are what character comprised on one letter suppose grade a is a character and fatima is a string constant the so string is what if more than one character we have we call it as a string the so string are what strings are nothing a string are basically the character sequence of characters the so string are nothing it is a sequence of characters now how can we define the variable into the language so this is the structure data type variable name semicolon so this suppose i want to uh, before using any variable into my program we must have to declare the variable this is called variable declaration so variable declaration variable declaration variable declaration is a very important element in a programming language before using any variable into my program we must have to declare the variable mm, in the beginning so the name of the variable is done by followed by the same rule as identifier and uh data type of the variable the variable declaration suppose i want to declare a string variable or i want to declare a, a character variable grade the name of the variable is grade and c h a r c h a r is what is a data type the variable name is grade c h a r is a data type the so grade variable will be declared and i can use the variable grade into my program later on rules for naming a variable so this is the same thing as i i described previously the name of the variable may be a combination of digit alphabet underscore it cannot start by number it can start by underscore or it can start by alphabet underscore may comes between and spaces are not allowed reserved words cannot be used as a so this slide is a repetitive slides expression expression is a 
collection of variable operator constant and function the expression is what expression may contains any of the four or all of the four elements what that four elements are expression number 1 we can have variable into the expression these variables are connected with some uh, operators so we may have operators and third element which may have constant and the last thing that we may have in an expression is a function i am giving you a one complete example of expression like uh, i am writing y is equal to 3 x plus 9 so what is y is equal to this complete line is called statement this complete line is called statement so what is a statement a complete sentence and this is called expression up to here this is called expression so as i gave you the definition of expression as it contains what variable so x is a variable operator into is a operator plus is an operator then constant 9 is a constant 3 is a constant function it doesn't has any function so i i will give you an example of function like z is equal to under root x plus 5 so what is z z is a variable what is equal assignment operator it is an operator what is plus this is a operator what is 5 this is constant what is x this is variable what this root is this root is a function square root so we will write down this into the language like it uh, z is equal to s q r t x plus 5 semicolon this is complete statement and we can store the value of root x will be added in 5 and the answer will be stored into the variable z this is called this is called expression this is expression and the whole line is called a statement and this is called assignment statement this is a special type of statement called assignment statement assignment statement is what assignment statement assign the value of the expression to the right hand side to the variable on the left hand side so this will assign the value of the right hand side calculate the value of the right hand side and will assign to the variable left hand side so this is called expression so now you are now you are familiar with the expression what the expression is so in simple i can define again a expression may contains variable operator constant function acha these things must govern some specified rule what that rules are i cannot write the this expression as into 3 x 9 plus all these things are here still we have operator still we have operator 9 is a constant x is a variable all the things that i have here in this expression i wrote these all things here but this is not a valid expression because expression govern some rules what that rules are 
operator is in between on the left and right may be the variable or constant the operator is in between the on the left and right we may have variable or constant so these are the rules that must be followed by programmer if you want to write down any expression now there are some examples of expression and assignment statement first is a is equal to b plus c we have a semicolon here a is equal to b plus c a is a variable b is a variable c is a variable plus is a constant what is the name of this complete line the name of this complete line is called statement and the, what is the name of the right hand side right hand side is called expression and plus plus z plus plus z is a specialized assignment statement in c or c plus plus i will describe it later on on this slide 300 is greater than 8 multiply by k the expression is 8 8 multiply by k is a expression and this is called logical expression because if the value 300 is larger than the 8 multiply by k then the value of this expression is called true otherwise the value of this expression will be false now we have to define the list of operators so type of operators are very important operators as i de i define you the plus the minus the multiply the divide so these are the operators but it this category of operator is called arithmetic operators so what are the arithmetic operators which are used in arithmetic operations like 2 plus 2 is 4 so plus is a arithmetic operator minus is a oper arithmetic operator so we have a very special very rich list of operators type of operators arithmetic operator unary operator relational operator logical operator assignment operator conditional operator bitwise operator special special operator so there are a very rich list in this language for operators so we have to learn each and every type of operator in this in this lecture i am so now this slide comprised on a complete program this complete program contains several lines line number 1 blue color items are actually the code and red color items and the arrows are explanation so we have to remove this is just for explanation i i introduce the red part here so whenever you type this program so you have to remove all the comments written on the right side and remove all arrows only the blue material you have to type double slash double slash indicates a comment line comment line means what compiler completely ignore this line isko padega hi nahi compiler so why this line is here the reason is this is a comment line which explain me what this program is so i can introduce several lines but each line should start with the double slash if the line start with the double slash then compiler will assume that this line is a comment line and we have not to uh, we have, compiler will not have to work on this line compiler is line pe koi kaam nahi karega to fir ye line kyun hai it is just for my satisfaction it is just for my understanding the second line include io stream this is in c language this is called pre processor directive the pre processor directive may we have to include some io stream the stream will be included in my program i will introduce the purpose of stream but this will not uh have any impact on the execution of this code but this is necessary to include this io stream if i want to use the c out command if i don't want to use the c out command in this function in this program 
so there is no need to include io stream so io stream is needed only if i have to uh you see out or seen in my program the next line is the using namespace std so std is what is the is a short word for standard input output devices so this output will occur on the screen so std stands for the standard input output the standard input output is what outputs will be shown on to the screen and input will be taken by the keyboard the keyboard is the input device and screen is the output device so this is called name space so these are the elementary lines program will start by this line this is actually the program these are the necessities for this program you must have to write down these lines these two lines first one is optional there is no 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 way or there is no need to write down the first line but the second and the third is very important but the last lines actually the code is this so every c program must start by int main bracket this bracket may contain some parameter i will describe that parameter later on but initially you can write down as int main blank brackets then your program must have a starting brace and ending brace so this is the structure of a program so your program must begins with the int main and it comprised on a pair of brace in between the brace i have several things here are the two lines this is called one statement c out c out is a reserved word this will show this string this is a string constant this show c out will output or show this hello there on to my screen and then return zero program will end so this will done only one line we have here and this line will do what this line do nothing just only print hello there on the screen so this is called output statement and hello there is a string literal and send zero to the operating system end of block starting of block and the beginning function is main so this is one complete program and this is the structure of a complete program